How's it going guys? Grant here with Rise Magic. Today, we are gonna be going over the steps that you need to take before actually going out performing that brand new magic trick that you've just learned. Now, we've all been there, you're excited, you've learned something new, and you wanna go out there and perform it to every single person that you see. But if you wanna perform this trick to the best that it can be and to really blow away your audience, take your time, wait. Don't go out there and perform it right away. You wanna take your time and really master that trick before you go out there and perform it for people. Trust me, it'll be better in the long run. So here we go, let's have some patience. Let's go through the proper steps to learning a magic trick and let's just jump into it. So you have a brand new magic trick and you're ready to learn it. The first thing that you wanna do is actually learn it. <laughs> now I know that seems obvious and you're probably being like, gonna click out of this video right away and unsubscribe, but I don't just mean watching the DVD that you got or reading the book that you got and learning it that way. I mean really learning the trick, learning every detail of it and not just learning the moves, although you, we're gonna talk about it later. I mean studying the actual trick and what it's trying to accomplish and who you're performing for. Go on YouTube, Instagram and look up other people performing this trick. Study what they're doing, study how the people are reacting to what they're doing study how people are reacting to what they're doing. Look at the performances, see what's working, see what isn't, write it down, and really study that, those aspects of the trick. Now, when you're watching those tricks, watch for when the slights happen, watch for when things important happen. Break down that trick to all the individual parts and really critique that trick. Break down the performance to all the details you can and really critique it harder than you usually would. Take the best parts of that and incorporate it into what you're planning on doing and write them down. Writing them down is the most important. Now, secondly, you should have a list of all the moves that are in that performance that you need to learn and you need to master. Take all those moves individually and practice them. Practice them all the time and practice them to the point that you can do them without even looking or thinking about it. You wanna master those moves to the point that even under great stress, you won't have any issue performing them. So now that you've learned that trick and learned every aspect you can about that trick, now it's time to get into practicing. Now, practicing, really makes a huge difference in how well you perform this trick. Practicing for some people can just entail doing the trick a few times on their own and then thinking they're ready. Or you can practice this right and really prepare yourself for success when you're actually going out there performing this trick for real people. Now, assuming you did the learning section right, you should already have all the individual moves mastered and an ideal performance that you will be doing. Now, you're gonna go ahead and get to practicing that performance. Run it through all the way, and this time it's gonna be by yourself. Now this can be in front of a mirror, in front of a camera, whatever it is, just run it through it as close as it can be to a real life performance. Now a lot of people like to do a mirror because they get the real time updates. I personally prefer a phone camera or something like that so you don't have to focus on watching yourself at the time. You can focus on the performance and do it and then once you're done, review it and critique that performance. Now this is gonna be a process. You're gonna do the performance, watch the video, critique it, Take what you learned from that video and perform it again and record it again. And you're gonna keep on doing that process until you get to a point where you're really happy with that performance that you're doing. After you're happy with the performance that you're doing by yourself in front of a camera, you're gonna move on to some close friends or family members. Now what you need for this is not just people who are your friends and will tell you that you're doing a great job. You need people who are actually gonna give you real criticism on your performance. And it takes a really good true friend in order to do that. So it could be family, it could be a close friend. Um, it could be someone who just tells it like it is and even you're not close friends with them. Just someone who you're not afraid to mess up with and someone who won't hate you for messing up your trick. Perform the trick for them, have them critique it. You can also film yourself performing this trick for them so you can have that secondary critique option from yourself. But you're gonna go through the whole performance with them, have them tell you what they thought about it, have them tell you if they caught anything or if there's anything that um, or if there's anything that stuck out to them as being kind of awkward or anything they didn't enjoy. Take that into consideration. Go back to the drawing board, practice it a couple of times, bring it back to them and perform it to them again. And just like before, you're gonna keep on doing this until you get to a point where you're really happy with that performance. Now at this point you've gotten the performance as good as it can be with just a close friend. Now at this point you're gonna to wanna to take it out to an absolute stranger. Just someone who you don't know, someone who doesn't matter if you mess up in front of, and you're gonna do it that way. Now your approach to this can vary depending on your personality. Personally, I would like to just go to a mall or a park or somewhere and perform. Um, one of my favorite ways, and this might seem weird to you guys, 
my favorite way to approach someone is just to say, hey, I'm a beginner magician and I'm working on this trick. Would you mind if I show it to you? Um, and tell me what you think of it. Most people are gonna react well to this. Everyone wants to help someone out. Uh, it makes them feel good and it makes them feel like they've done something good throughout the day. So that's personally the way that I like to do it. Now, if you're different and you wanna just go ahead and forego that and just say, hey, I'm a magician, I'd like to show you a trick. That works too. But no matter how you approach them, the most important thing is that you ask them what they thought of the trick at the end of the performance. Otherwise, you'll have no way to improve what you're doing. Now, just like before, you're gonna keep on doing this over and over again, getting feedback and taking that feedback and putting into your performance and evolving it each time that you actually go out and perform, making it the best that it can be. Now, after going out and performing for people that many times, you should have something that you're incredibly happy with and you're ready to take out and put into that routine. Now, I would say the most important thing to keep in mind after you've gotten this trick to a place that you're happy with and you're going out there and you're performing for people, you are blowing people's minds, everyone is enjoying your performance, is that you can't let it be stale. You can't just leave that performance exactly how it is and just leave it like that for the rest of uh, the time performing it. Always be critiquing your performance, always be iterating on that trick, adding new things in, and just don't be satisfied with uh, what you've already gotten. Keep on pushing the envelope, keep on having fun with the trick, keep on adding new things in, new patter, new jokes, uh, new reveals, whatever it is, keep on iterating on that trick and making it better as you go out and perform for people. I'm assuming you guys are probably saying, Grant, that is so much effort. Why would I go through all that just to perform a magic trick? And I can understand that. You might wanna just go right ahead and perform for people, mess up, learn that way. But the reason why you wanna do this is that it's really all about reputation. If you are this thorough with your learning process, you are rarely going to mess up and that will lead to a great reputation. People will know that you never mess up. The great thing about that is that if people think you never mess up, it allows you to mess up. <laughs> Both me and Sharon have had it happen where we have messed up a card trick and people go like, you never mess up. What's the trick? What's gonna happen now? It allows us to think on our feet and recover that trick and maybe sometimes even come up with something even more impressive than what we were intending. It is so much better to have that reputation than it is for people to think that you're always messing up your tricks, you're always uh, messing up because people won't respect you as much as a magician and if you have that reputation of not being that good at magic, people are gonna be less impressed by what you do. It's gonna take a toll on your actual performances. Having that reputation, having that brandedness of being good at what you do really makes people appreciate what you do more and will help your performances. It is well worth it. Really take that time, master your tricks, be a little bit of a perfectionist about it. It'll be worth it in the long run, but at the end of the day, still do have fun, do enjoy it. If you're enjoying yourselves, your audience will enjoy what you're doing as well. But anyway, that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys put this into practice, but I do ask you guys, what are your routines for learning a magic trick and bringing it into the routine of stuff that you actually do perform? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you got something out of this video, be sure to like it. It helps us out a lot. And if you haven't yet subscribed, we post a new video every week. We'd love for it to show up in your sub boxes. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great week and we will see you next Thursday. Peace.